Okay, Shalom. Okay, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, bless Him, Yahweh Shai. Brachat the Yahweh, brachat the Yahweh Shai, brachat the Yahweh, bless Him, Yahweh Shai, brachat the Rakhakadash. Okay, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, elders of GMS. Okay, and salutation and much blessings to the whole elect of the children of Israel. Okay, what I have here is the table of nation and Gentiles here. Okay, and I'm showing you this here, that the Lord has separated the nations, you know, and that's totally against what the world teaches, that we're all just one. We're all one people. We're all the human race. They're not even understanding what they're saying. You know, we, we all bleed red blood. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, what's the point of going back and forth with these, um, with these uh, crackheads, man, with these you know, with these bug outs, with, you know, blind fools, pretty much blind fools, man. You know, here to how the world is functioning with total division and separation. <laughs> but we're all one, <laughs> you know, people are bug outs, man. You know, and pretty much it just hurts their souls, breaks their hearts that, you know, the book that they thought they were so well learned in and growing up in because they call themselves Christians and coming up in these churches, they can't accept the truth. You know, they, they can't accept the truth because it's contrary to their ways. You know, it's contrary to their ways and their way of life. You know, again, division and separation, a complete division and separation, you know, favoritisms and, you know, favoritisms. So when the actual Bible uh, shows you and, and actually tells you that the Lord favors his people and it's his people only, you know, I mean, come on, they're, they're not going to wake up to that fact when the world and they don't show favoritism to themselves and to their nation. Speaking of the, 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 the Edomites, man, the Edomites, the Edomites, Adawam, the, the so-called white man, you know? <laughs> so, um, Again, again, you know, it brings to mind um, uh, Timothy, First uh, Timothy one, um, um, and six, from which some having swerved have turned aside unto vain janglings. That's just really speaking of people that was in this truth and it fell out because um, they, one of these demons in the world, and convinced them otherwise. <laughs> Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor whereof they affirm. <laughs> so again, um, uh, just a quick video to show you that uh, the Lord separated the nations, man, divided the nations. And again, we're not one. So I just go. I'm gonna go through a series of video, uh, scriptures here. This is just a quick hit, you know, one of the good quick hits that's, um, uh, that one of them that's comforting. Let's put it that way. It's comforting knowing that, um, um, we were always on the bottom and to learn, to learn why we were on the bottom, learn why we're being crucified, you know, learn why we're being, uh, sent through this torment of hell, you know, and then, then learn where we're headed. I mean, things, videos like this is actually comforting that knowing that, um, we're living in a time of the downfall of our true enemy, the so-called white man who you see right here is listed at number two. Okay. Cause in this, on this, in this world theater, on this world stage that we're all actors in, in this world stage that one and two are the main actors. They're the main players in this thing that's playing out. All right. And right now, number two is, is ruling and he's pushing uh, false genealogies. He's pushing fables. He, you know, lies is pretty much is what's ruling the world. Lies and deceit is ruling the world. 
All right. So like I said, it's comforting to know that these the days that are approaching is things is going to totally reverse. It's going to do a complete reverse, you know. Meaning that the true righteous men will uh, begin to rule this world. All right. So um, here we go. Uh, second Ezra. I thought it was six that I was looking for. Yeah, six. Okay, listen. Six and fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. You hear that? And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All right? But they'll tell you, anybody that confess the name of the Lord, anybody that confesses the name of the Lord, not knowing that any it's any Israelite who confesses the name of the Lord, which, again, due to, because of the curses, Israel was scattered amongst the four corners of the earth, amongst the other earth. Here, let me grab that. Deuteronomy. I'm not sure what scripture it is in Deuteronomy, but it's Deuteronomy. Let me find that. So I'm taking a second to find this. A second. Oh, oh, Deuteronomy. Four. And the Lord shall scatter you among. Four and twenty-seven. Deuteronomy four and twenty-seven. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. All right. So it's Israelites. It's what Israelites that confesses the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know? Two to eighteen is not going to be new doing no confessing of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Two through eighteen. But you remember, one was scattered amongst two through eighteen. And what's been right and what's rising up in these last days is those what we call Israelite foreigners, Gentiles, that's amongst through two through eighteen. That's professing, that's rising up. And professing the name of Yahweh, but Shimei Shai, because what, according to the scriptures, two through eighteen, the name of the Lord is a, is a terror unto these people. Here, let me grab that. I haven't seen that scripture in a minute. Some of those scriptures I haven't brought out in years. I haven't seen in years. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, um, the name of the Lord is a terror. This is an important scripture here. Let me find it. Is dreadful amongst the heathen. Some of that extent, the name of the Lord is a dreadful amongst the heathen. Um, doo -doo -doo. It might be Micah. It might be, oh, Slack is, is Malachi 1 and 14. But the cursed be the deceiver. But cursed be the deceiver, the Edomites, number two, which have in his flock a male and a vowth and sacrifices unto the Lord, a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, said the Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful amongst the heathen. So ain't no, you, you're not going to hear any of these heathens out professing the true name of the Lord, man. You know, you you may you may hear amongst the heathens Allah shot ya. They're shouting Allah shot ya. Which that was known. You know. He was known to the heathens in the in the ancient worlds or world as Allah shot ya. You know? Um here's another one. Uh let Um, 
Psalms 102 and 15. So the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth thy glory. <laughs> okay. So going back to 2 Ezra 6 and 54, and these also, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. So there's a separation there, all right? There's a separation there. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world, madest the world, the cosmos, the world, no, world here is, um, uh, it should be um, ion. Uh, I might have to make a video if I'm going off and correct myself on that, but madest the world um, for our sakes. Because cosmos is people, the, the people, a particular group of people. So the word the world there is um Shalaki, uh, it's escaping me right now. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. All right but be like unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them two through 18 has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Just a series of scriptures here. Separation, man. Separation, man. One of my favorites, I'm not going to read it, is Romans 9, starting at 1, you know, Paul. Okay, let's go to, um, again, Deuteronomy 32, 33, 32, 33. Here we go. Deuteronomy 32 and 8. Okay, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, when he separated the sons of Adam. He separated the sons of Adam. Okay. Okay, to separate, forming or viewed as a unit, apart or by itself, cause to move or be apart, divide or cause to divide into constituent, constituent or distinct elements. Okay. It's a good one how it explains this explaining it better. Individual items of clothing such as skirts, jackets, pants, suitable. So they're not all labeled the same damn thing, even though you may wear them all, but they're not all the same. They're all separate items. Separate items, suitable for wearing in different combinations. The self-contained freestanding components of a sound. Reproduction system. Anyway, divide to divide or cause to, to divide, cause to move or be apart. I mean, he started off with that when the one and two um, um, came into the world. Speaking of Jacob and Esau, Jacob and Esau, where um, 
two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. You see? So when the, the, the beginning of the Edomite nation coming into the world where the progenitor Esau, he was, he's speaking of division. He's, you know, he's bringing up separation and division there. Let's not get stupid. Let's, you know, So again, it says here, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. <laughs> mm. You got to love it. Um... Let's go to Leviticus. <clears throat> I'm just going to read this before I get down. Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel. See, there's no getting around this. He's always speaking to you know who all the who this book pertains to the children of Israel again thou shalt say to the children of Israel whosoever be he be of the children of Israel or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel that give it any of his seed unto Molech he shall surely be put to death the people of the land shall stone him with stone so let me get down to my point here Strangers, Israelites, okay. Those strangers. Um, but I have said unto you, ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. And I, I am the Lord your power, which have separated you from other people <laughs> the children of Israel there's no getting around it man there's no getting around it okay um, let me get this one here <clears throat> For where, wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. What? <laughs> Let me read that again. Exodus 33 and 16. Here, let me get it here. <laughs> you see, this is comforting that, you know, our enemies who's, who's reigning over us, who's ruling over us, you know, we're learning and we're finding out that it's all been a lie. You know that he's God, and you know, and you know, and and, and his and, and the Most High is looks like him, and 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 all the gods and the angels, butt naked, looking like them. And it's comforting to know that this is all a lie. You know, it's comforting knowing that it's it's been all a lie, and that that lie that they covering up is that the Most High. Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai, and the angels look like us. And we're their brother. We're brethren right along with the angels. You know, we're bright, we're, we're, we're brethren to our, our Savior. It says again, 
33 and 16, Exodus 33 and 16, for wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace, have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in, in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. <laughs> mm. Separated. I am thy people from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. From all 2 through 18. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is an Israelite thing, man, this great awakening. It's an Israelite thing, this massive great awakening, these beautiful days that we're living in. You know, when wisdom and knowledge and is springing up like a like a a spring, like a river. You know? And ultimately that river is going to turn into an ocean. This world is going to be overrun with truth and righteousness. You know, it's going to cover the earth, man. It's going to cover the galaxies. So I'm going to close with this last here. This uh, pretty good one, a pretty popular one, Amos. Amos 3. Come on. Here we go. Amos 3. Hmm. Hmm. Let me start at one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. <laughs> Beautiful. Here, let me dive and get another one. I can never run out of them. Because the book's full of them. Here, give me a second. Okay, um, okay, let's go here. Here you go, Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel <laughs> and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And that strangers there are what we refer to as Israelite foreigners. Okay. So I'm going to close it there. You know, hope we're at five. You know. So till next time, Lord willing, shalom.